Well, this was one of those nights when history was made right there in your living room on television. This was the night you dragged the kids in front of the TV so they'd be able to say for the rest of their lives that they saw Volodymyr Zelensky's address to a joint session of Congress and to the people of the United States of America and to the world. There are people who watched this speech tonight who were little kids when they were listening to the only comparable speech in American history. British Prime Minister Winston Churchill's address to a joint session of Congress on, uh, in December of 1941 during World War II. Kids who heard that speech with their families gathered around the radio in the living room. Those kids are now in their late 80s and 90s, and they are the lucky ones who heard both of these speeches. Tonight, Ukraine's President Zelensky knew who he wanted to thank. Now, on the special Christmas time, I want to thank you, all of you. I thank every American family which cherishes the warmth of its home and wishes the same warmth to other people. I thank President Biden and both parties at the Senate and the House for your invaluable assistance. I thank your cities and your citizens who supported Ukraine this year, who hosted our Ukrainians, our people, who waved our national flags, who acted to help us. Thank, thank you all, from everyone who is now at the front line, from everyone who is evading victory. On a day when President Biden announced more aid to Ukraine, including the delivery of defensive Patriot missiles, President Zelensky framed the United States government's military and economic aid this way. Your money is not charity. It's an investment in the global security and democracy that we handle in the most responsible way. Our first guest tonight, New Yorker editor David Remnick, wrote this in the early days of the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Zelensky has galvanized his people through the clarity of his language. Churchill, in his essay, The Scaffolding of Rhetoric, wrote, Of all the talents bestowed upon men, none is so precious as the gift of oratory. He who enjoys it, enjoys it wields a power more durable than that of a great king. Here is how Winston Churchill wielded that power in December of 1941. Here we are, together, facing a group of mighty foes who seek our ruin. Here we are, together, defending all that to free men is dear. It is not given to us to peer into the mysteries of the future. Still I avow my hope and faith, sure and inviolate, that in the days to come, the British and American peoples will for their own safety and for the good of all, walk together in majesty, in justice and in peace. And here is how President Zelensky defined the terms of battle tonight. This battle is not only for the territory, for this or another part of Europe. The battle is not only for life, freedom and security of Ukrainians or any other nation which Russia attempts to conquer. This struggle will define in what world our children and grandchildren will live and then their children and grandchildren. It will define whether it will be a democracy of Ukrainians and for Americans for all. This battle cannot be frozen or postponed. It cannot be, 
ignored, hoping that the ocean or something else will provide a protection from the United States to China, from Europe to Latin America, and from Africa to Australia. The world is too interconnected and interdependent to allow someone to stay aside and at the same time to feel safe when such a battle continues. President Zelensky did not rely only on the power of his words. When I was in Bakhmut yesterday, our, our heroes gave me the flag, the ba battle flag, the flag of those who defend Ukraine, Europe, and the world at the cost of their lives. They asked me to bring this flag to you, to the U.S. Congress, to members of the House of Representatives and Senators whose decisions can save millions of people. So let these decisions be taken. Let this flag stay with you, ladies and gentlemen. This flag is a symbol of our victory in this war. We stand, we fight, and we will win because we are united, Ukraine, America, and the entire free world. President Zelensky closed his speech with holiday wishes. May God protect our brave troops and citizens. May God forever bless the United States of America. Merry Christmas and happy victorious New Year. Slava Ukraine. <laughs>